for this draft, we have the 17th pick and the 47th pick. Really, this is a process that started many, many months ago, usually with um, you know, the overseas stuff that starts before the college season, and then the college season really ramps up. I think first and foremost, it begins with seeing who declares for the draft and who's going to stay in the draft, you know, up to draft night. You know, a lot of kids make decisions after the season. Some are, you know, 100% in. They say they're going to be in and they're going to stay in. And then others, you know, they kind of make that decision in the middle of June whether or not, you know, they're going to remain in the draft. We have a great team of uh, scouts that scour the world, but it's more of a marathon than a sprint, and it's a lot of collective intel that's shared, um, thoughts on players. You know, players and their skills are a little bit like a piece of art at, at, at a museum. Different people are gonna have different views with how they view a painting, and they're gonna share it. But the process is really healthy, and usually we get to a place of consensus as we head into draft night. A lot of times, you know, during the season, as you know, anybody in the NBA world can attest to, is you plan to go to a game and, you know, maybe a player you're going to see is hurt. Maybe he doesn't, you know, play more than five minutes in that particular game. So getting them in for a workout, just to get them up close and personal, interview them, you know, see what they can do on the court in your own gym, I think is a very important part of the process. We started the draft process last year without a pick. We had traded our picks and uh, we still did all the work. Um, and you have to do the work even if you don't have a pick because a trade may present itself. And in this case, uh, we really, as a front office, we hunted trying to get a pick in the 31 to 40 range. We had two or three guys in particular that um, had stood out to us in the college season, Max being one of them. The Los Angeles Lakers select Max Christie from Michigan State University. We were grateful we were able to pull off a trade with the Magic to get the pick that ended up being Max. And I think he had a great rookie year. Had moments in games where he was making corner threes, big shots, you know, standing up, playing defense. For a kid that's still, you know, less than 20 years old, we see a lot of promise and we're excited about, you know, the value we were able to obtain there by making a trade and getting a second round pick. I will say, like, we do take fit into consideration, but from my experience, um, I've seen more mistakes made by, you know, drafting by fit and by immediate need, as opposed to taking the most talented player. The most talented player is gonna find a way to get himself on the court and produce. You know, there's many cases, but if we had taken, you know, a guy that maybe fit a better position for us at that time, we might have not ended up with Austin Reeves. Being able to invest and grow your own players is incredibly fulfilling, especially when they start young and you see the growth. But Austin obviously is ahead of pace and ahead of schedule and making key plays and key moments in the playoffs, being a starter caliber player. Again, it's a testament to not only us identifying him, but then just the work he's put in with our coaching staff. Austin Reeves in his first playoff game, has got 23. I do think that's another really key component to the draft process too, is just having a, a coaching staff that will invest in these guys. I think led by Darvin and Phil Handy and the coaches that we have are committed to developing these young players and you see how thoughtful they are with it. Um, and that's, that's paying dividends already. Good evening and welcome to the 2023 NBA it's nerve-wracking, like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're going to be waiting like every other team and seeing who's left on the board, like, and, but this is a deep draft. I think there's a lot of talented players and, you know, I'm looking forward to adding, you know, potentially two players to our roster. We're on the clock. I think the good news for me is, you know, having been trained in, in law school and business school, you're used to kind of, in law school especially, the courtroom feel where it's high pressure, every word matters, you're making decisions on the fly. Um, and then having, you know, sort of 20 years of experience as an agent being on the other side of the draft, I think gives me a, a lens of what player representatives and players are going through in that moment. You know, being at the table in this room with really, really smart people that you're collaborating with, getting input in, making, making real-time decisions in fast-paced environment. And then as the leader of basketball operations, you have to step up and pull a lever and make a decision. And I know when I make those that 
it's based on um, a lot of incredible um, help and information that's being brought to me in the moment and has already been brought to me. Hello. Yes. We've been very fortunate to get our target, you know, at our specific pick, but I have seen it happen where, you know, a guy that we were really high on ended up, you know, probably going sooner than we had expected and maybe we thought he was going to be there at our pick, but, you know, I'm very grateful for the players we have been able to draft and, you know, the careers that they've had. Our, our track record has been great with the players that we draft and develop and have similar expectations uh, with 47 this year, having another second round pick in addition to 17. I think you can really start to see that we, we can identify and establish a young core of Laker players to develop. Hello. Hey, Jalen, it's Rob Palenka at the Lakers. Hello. Welcome to the family, man. I appreciate you. Hey, it was that uh, the talk in our war room that sold us, man. You're dedicated to the game and you want to be great and put in the work to do it. Excited to get you here, man. Enjoy it with your family. We'll be in touch, okay? With the 17th pick in the 2023 NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Jalen Hood Shafino from Indiana University. Congratulations. One down, one to go. One down, one to go. He is a big, strong, personal point guard. He's excellent in pick and roll. He shoots well off the dribble. And to even go back a little bit, just sitting in that chair, like I'm not really a person who gets too high or too low. So today my emotions was like a roller coaster, so it was everywhere. But to finally, you know, get that call and then hear my name called, it was just like a relief. But yeah, like I said, I was super happy, super excited, and you know, it was just a great moment. What's going on, y'all? Jalen Shapiro here, checking in. Uh, I'm a Laker baby. Uh, I'm excited, thankful, and you got a big time playing me. So, I'll see y'all soon. Hey, guys. Okay, we, we can make our selection. So with the 40th pick, the Los Angeles Lakers will take uh, Maxwell Lewis from Pepperdine. Thanks guys, Max Lewis, Pepperdine. Welcome everybody. A super exciting day for us to introduce Jalen and Maxwell. Really, it's a culmination of a lot of work by our scouting staff um, and by our front office to identify the top talent in the draft. Uh, we went into the draft with the 17th and 47th pick um, and came out of it with two players that we had you know, ranked high in our first round. As we um, continue just to add to the core of young players that we have here in the Lakers building, just couldn't be more proud um, to introduce these two gentlemen um, to welcome their families, their coaches, their agents into our building as well. My first time out here was last year for right before college. I did like some pre-draft stuff just to do it, get ready. Then this year I was out here the whole pre-draft, so we're kind of familiar with it now. So right back here, so it's kind of cool. Entering the draft, it was just, it was great, you know. I just knew I was a pro and I just knew this is this is for me, for my future. On that night I was just looking and I didn't I thought it was too good to be true. Like, I'm a Laker? What? Like, no way. And then I heard Rob Palinka call me and I just broke down crying. It was just, see you Sunday, welcome home. So that was that was crazy. Oh man. I literally say it every day. I tell somebody at least like three times. I'll be like, yo, I'm really a Laker. <laughs> so it's crazy, but I think now that now that's over, now it's really time to just play basketball and get get right to work. I'm looking forward to the just the adrenaline and just the energy and the vibes. I just wanna be in the gym so much so when that time comes it's just natural. I think it would be cool to get out there for the first time and it's gonna be a lot of expectations, but I'm built for it.